Hey everybody, it's Jeff, and in today's video, I'll kind of go over what I'm trying to do to remedy my overheating problem. Uh, my flight controller is getting kind of hot, and my worry is that it's going to get too hot and it's going to shut down and my plane's going to fall out of the sky. So let's jump in the video and I'll show you what I'm talking about and how I'm going to try to remedy this issue. So here we go. So first thing I'm going to do is show you my, my hatch configuration. I added these two louver vents um, that I found on Thingiverse when I did my dual motor conversion. I figured it was going to make some more heat in the flight controller area, so I did this as a preventative. So now we're here at the flying field. Uh, get this thing up in the air. And uh, temperature outside, um, it was kind of warm. It wasn't super humid. It was 82 uh, degrees out, 28 Celsius. And if you look up to the top there, that FC temperature, that is my temp. Now normally this thing runs at like 120 something, like 129 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's warm. I got the plane at 50% throttle pretty much the whole time. So right, right here I'm climbing, so it's really, really stressing, putting a lot of load on the props. And you're gonna see here in a couple seconds, my flight controller, see it's now it's at 140 and it's blinking, that's a default uh, alarm value that's in INAV. So I figured it's got to be correct. And so I kind of just fly it around. Um, I'm at 50%, pulling 15 amps, still getting hot. So she's kind of stuck there at that 140, so I figured I'd bring this thing in, uh, give it a landing. Uh, I gotta land this thing fast, but this is kind of a good landing right here. I mean, I stop it like just perfectly right in front of me. You'll see I'll turn the camera in just a second. And uh, I was like, yes. So anyway, on to the mods. Alrighty, so this is what I found on Thingiverse. Uh, what I typed in was just air intake, and this is the exact listing, air intake for EPO planes. So this is all you need to type in. And I found this, I was like, well, this looks cool. This looks like a Ram air intake off like a big block Chevy. This looks pretty sick. So looks like, yeah, looks like someone's using it. Uh, looks like it'll fit like kind of a, I can put this right over my flight controller. So we'll go and get it downloaded. And now we got the model here in Cura. And what I'm going to do here is let's take a look. I don't want to print it like this. So I need to, uh, I need to select a, uh, I need to adjust the, uh, the face here and align it to the build plate that way. The next thing is, I need to make sure this thing is not big enough. So we're going to scale this thing up 300%. And there we go. Big boy. I printed this with uh, selected 5% infill. I used a brim and I used supports. And you're going to see all that as I go through. Slice away. And I think we're going to be looking at, oh, four hours or so. Yeah, three hours, three and a half hours. So not too bad. And there we go. That's what she's gonna look like to the printer. And here's what it looks like. Freaking sick, man. Looks like a freaking hot rod. I love it, I love it, I love it. So as you notice in the beginning of the video, this louver right here was the one that I had right over here on that side. I just moved it to the back. I'll show you how I mounted this in there. Just cut me a hole and I hot glued it in. This opening right here is literally facing right over that flight controller. So that all the air that is coming in from here, I mean, it's just right over there. So if this doesn't keep it cool, I do not know what will. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Uh, if the video quality on this phone also seems a little bit better, that's because I lost my phone. Um, dropped it in Clinton Lake on the weekend, boating. So I got me a brand new phone. And I think that's it, dude. It looks sick. Should work. We just need to get this thing out and do a test flight. So let's head out to the field. All right, everybody. We're out here at the flying spot. I'm ducking behind my door because it is blowing probably 20 mile an hour right now. Easily. Ah. Uh, this will be a good test to see how this Ram Air Scoop works, okay? So, I'm gonna fly it into the wind hard. 
Hopefully it should keep everything nice and cool. It's warm today. It's like almost 70 something degrees out. The sun is out. So let's give this a go. There we go. All righty, it should be definitely starting to cool itself off now. Manual. Let's pump, oh yeah, she is cooling down. All right, let's go show this farmer what we're doing here, because this guy was watching me. Yeah, dude, she's actually staying nice and cool now. Not bad. Dude, it's so frapping windy. Holy moly. Like, we're just getting blown sideways right now. Oh, dude. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's just go ahead and crank this thing up. We'll go to 20 amps and just keep it held. Oh, I got to shut that thing off. Dudes, it is so freaking windy. All right, so here. Here's a speed difference. So I'm going I'm going into the wind right here. And now I'm going with the wind. Like just booking. Just booking. Dudes, heck yeah. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's so... I mean, it's... it's Yes, it's getting rolled around a little bit. But, dude, it's pretty stable for the most part. See, now we're just going straight into that wind. <gasps> what is that? That's a dog or something. Let's see if we can find it. That's something. I wonder what the heck that is. Let's see if we can't get back to it. Huh. Yeah, look how cool the flight controller is right now. I'm looking for it. There it is. Shit, it's just following that one line. Yeah, so that, that hood scoop is definitely working. Yeah, I think that's a dog or something. All right, let's push this thing back up. Buttercup. Yes. Dude, this thing just freaking rips. I'm telling you what, man. It just rips. Climb, climb, climb. Just climbing. 30 mile an hour straight up. Straight up. No problem. Oh yeah, we got the uh, the telltale alarm. Oh come on, Betsy. All right, to the sky, my friend. To the sky. Just climbing straight up. Just trying to stare at that sun. 137 meters. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. Like, I can just do whatever I want with this thing. I absolutely love it. I'd like to show everyone, too, that this thing is running nice and cold. Nice and cold. It is just doing so good. Going straight up and throw it over. Back into the wind. Yeah, man, this thing just does it. It just does it. It just goes and goes. It is so versatile. I've never had an AR wing, but dude, that's what this thing feels like, man. It just feels like an A, like how those people fly it. It just has got so much responsiveness. So much. Jeez. 
just burning, dude. Woo! A little lag right there. Of course, I, oh yeah, I'm sitting in my car. That's probably not the best to go down that low. Alrighty. She's doing it. She just hold it nice and cool. The hood, the, uh, the mod worked. Okay, let's see how easy it is to land in super crazy ass winds. Dudes, that was baller. Let's go get it. Alrighty, we got her back, man. The hatch, dude, that thing works awesome. That works absolutely awesome. Keeps everything nice and cool. Very happy with it. And of course it is windy as all can be. I don't think I even have to show you this, but yeah. And look, that plane landed awesome. Like I landed in a crosswind and I mean, it's just, you know, it is just blowing. If you have the ability which I highly recommend. If you have the ability, twin your dolphin up. You'll love it. All right, there you have it. Hatch mod, do it. You gotta print this, and you gotta print the louvers in the back to get the air in and get the air out. Worked out perfect. You can find all the links. Uh, here's gonna be for the uh, hatch mod. Here's gonna be for the louvers. And then here's all about the twin tractor dolphin so you should be set to go just do the search and thank you verse enjoy have a good one guys see ya bye